Greetings, Dr. John Bennett of Neurosurgical TV. There's a new feature. We got a crazy graph background, so let's use it. Going to go over the stories of the week, as well as going over a couple of conferences. Uh, let's share the screen uh, to check out what's going on. We lead off the week with a Buddhist monk who's a neurosurgeon at Duke University. Read that, baby. Okay. Ipe is giving a talk tomorrow on intra and extradural at 5 p.m. India time, 7.30 Eastern time. Uh, translational research, we're trying to include a little research in here, maybe get a research channel going. Uh, this particular study is in Japan, I believe, but we can reach them. Okay, uh, we presented a, long, a young neurosurgeon of Africa, presented uh, <coughs> over at Sydney, a medical student from Cameroon presented on the ethmo bone. Very good presentation. Okay, awakening stem cells, unlock the brain's regenerative potential, trying to keep tabs on uh, stem cells, 3D printing, robotics, and big data, their effect on neurosurgery. Uh, studied, interesting study said brain trauma mimics ALS, I guess it microscopically and histologically resembles <coughs> Global Neurotrauma Outcomes Study uh, recorded with the big names, including Franco, the head of WFNS. Uh, watch that. Uh, we record again, uh, did the ethmoid sphenoid bone last week of uh, the um, neurosurgeons of, uh, young neurosurgeons of Africa. Uh, quickly, going over quickly, the conferences uh, that we edited last week. Uh, we did the Global Neurotrauma Outcomes Study, which uh, we'll, we'll go through the speakers. Franco let it off. Franco Serva, Serva D, head of the WFNS, talked about uh, neurosurgical education around the world, especially Africa, uh, as did Peter Hutchinson, uh, talked about ways to economize. Uh, Tarek Khan, chairman, Rural Trauma Committee, gave a presentation uh, on various services offered. And Ipe Cherian uh, gave a talk on cisternostomy, one of his big issues. And Raja Krishnankuti of India talked about uh, uh, medical education in the developing countries. And David Clark finished off uh, with the research study about uh, the trauma. Okay, a couple other studies. There were cad cadaveric s studies from Kenya. Uh, we we did a, it's mostly lectures, uh, not too much uh, online cadaver. We need special cameras for that. Uh, so uh, not much as, that, as far as as far as the actual dissection of cadavers, but some lectures. Okay, the other uh, lecture we uh, recorded. Well, actually, we didn't record. We recorded it a couple of weeks ago, we, but we finally edited it. It is Innovations in Neurovascular Science based in Jacksonville and had some of the big names in stroke. Uh, a couple of nurses gave, uh, gave presentations uh, and a big neurointerventionist, Eric Savino from uh, Jacksonville, gave it. A patient gave a talk about what it's like to have a burst aneurysm uh, and various other multiple talks by heads. David Freeman from Mayo Clinic, Jason Werdemoth uh, from, I believe he's from uh, the Netherlands, Stephen Mayer from Henry Ford, Matthew Connick, uh, Magdi Selig from, I believe he's from Harvard, Boston, and Bin Hu from China. Uh, so they, they had quite a good lineup of uh, speakers, Ryan McTaggart, Kling Shepke, panel discussion uh, of all these, as well as uh, uh, Ricardo Hanel who received the award. He also headed the conference. What a coincidence. Okay, thank you. That's May 18th, 2019. Adieu. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis morgen.